guys, it's Genevieve from the JJ Twins, and today's video is going to be something a little different. Um, it's going to be a story time video. It's going to be, as you can see from the title, it's going to be um, a little spooky. So it's going to be kind of short though, because it's not a very long like story. But hopefully I can explain it um, pretty good. I'm not the best storyteller, but I'm going to try my best. So just get comfy, maybe grab some snacks, and get right into the video. So this was about maybe, I don't know how many years ago. I was like probably in middle school. Um, so we were in my dad's house. Sorry, I'm trying to be kind of low because my boyfriend's mom sleeps um, in the other room and I don't want her to get kind of scared or anything about this video. So it was just me and Jennifer at my dad's house and um, so you know like in the mall they have those like cute um, doggy like little like animal balloons and like like cats or dogs or whatever. The balloon animals, um, this one was a dog that we had. Um, they're the ones that have like a leash kind of looks like the leash around them but it's just the like balloon string or whatever and they have like little like legs on the bottom of like the balloon dog body thing maybe i'll try to insert a picture here so you can kind of see what i'm talking about but anyways so like they're meant to like stay on the floor um so you can kind of just like it's for like little kids to like walk the animal like walk the dog and they like just glide on the floor with their little legs but the legs don't really move um so it's kind of like they're hovering but like really close to the floor so they don't flow flow up i guess it's not like helium or i don't know what what's in it but i don't think it's helium because helium the balloons go up but so i don't know but so you know the dog's just on the floor and you can just you know walk them in the mall or whatever so my little brother had got one my brother obviously you know they brought the balloon home um, I can't remember if he went to my dad went to the store or anything, but I just remember it was me and Jennifer. I just can't remember where everybody was. I really can't remember. I just know it was late and dark. So, um, me and my sister were just, you know, walking in and out of our room, you know, going through the hallway to the kitchen or bathroom or whatever. So, I can't remember if my sister pointed it out. I think she did. But she saw the balloon, um dog balloon that's meant to, the dog balloon that's meant to be you know on the floor <laughs> um kind of floating kind of high kind of gives me the chills thinking about it but kind of floating high like instead of being on the ground it was like literally like if I'm standing up probably like maybe like say I'm standing right now it'd probably be like maybe around here or so like you know floating that's pretty freaking high that's pretty high so, you know, those aren't really meant to be, like, up that high, you know? So, first of all, it's a little creepy. But she pointed it out, and then, you know, I saw it, too. And it, it started moving. So, it kind of started, it was floating, and it kind of started moving. Like, floating, literally. Like, it was in the hallway where we saw it. It was in, we have, like, a long hallway. And then there's our room right here, my dad's room at the end, and there's like another room like off to this side where the bathroom's at. Our room was in the middle. We saw it um, right here around our room, kind of, like on the hallway. And we just thought that was kind of odd and weird, creepy. <laughs> um, and then, you know, it started floating um, this way, like slowly. And I can't remember for sure, you know, if the windows were closed or not. I'm pretty sure they were. But either way, either way, like, it's pretty obvious the way it was moving that, it, you know, it wouldn't have been from, like, window or something. But anyways, so, the hallway. It was around here. Um, the dog's head was facing, like, you know, that way towards my dad's room. It started moving this way so very slowly, but, like, pretty steadily like so we're in the hallway so let's go in this way 
this way, this way, all the way down. And then it literally turns left into my dad's room, which was open. So that was pretty creepy. I'm just telling you guys what I remember. We went to look at it and it was just like in there and I can't remember if it turned around or not, but it was in there for sure. And then it ended up coming out. What the heck, how was it gonna like, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure it was going like with the head first, like everywhere. That was just kind of creepy. So yeah, we were all freaking out about it. <laughs> Try not to be loud. Um, but we were kind of freaking out about it. Um, and then like calling my dad and stuff and telling him. He's like, oh, it's fine. It's like the window or the wind from the window or whatever. But you know. Um, yeah, it was just really creepy. But at the same time, not that creepy, but only for a specific reason. But even, even with that reason, that's still kind of creepy, you know? So let me give you guys a backstory. I believe I was six or four I think I was six and when my mom passed away me and Jennifer were both I think six so you know it's a long time ago um and that was her room also her room and my dad's room um so you know we were thinking maybe it could have been her because like it was going the dog was going into that room you know and kind of floating weird like First of all, it shouldn't be floating. Second of all, it's moving and it going into that room and like coming out and stuff and like just moving down the hallway, going in the room and then coming back out. Like that's just not normal. So, so that's pretty much it for that story. But yeah, it was pretty weird. Um, but also like that house is always kind of I mean, I know houses kind of, like, make noises and stuff here and there, like, creaking kind of, but I don't know. To be honest, now I think about it, ever since we were, like, younger, you know, we always got kind of nervous in the house and, like, heard things, you know, that's what people, I mean, kids get scared all the time in their own houses when they hear things, but, like, that house, it, I feel like we did always, like, kind of get scared about different things, like, noises and, like, maybe footsteps, thinking someone's in the house, you know, that stuff has happened before, but we kind of didn't really think of it as any we didn't really think about it as like anything other than like maybe like oh my god someone's like came into the house like we're just scared we didn't really think about it as anything else you know but obviously nobody was there in the house whenever we would hear things so kind of makes you think like oh what if it was her or who knows what i also what? wanted to throw in this video the fact that also um i've seen a video like in the past of the same balloon i don't know exactly what kind of dog it was but, but I've seen a video, um, of, like, that same kind of balloon, um, in a funeral, like, for this little boy who, like, had passed away. And, like, that balloon was, like, hovering, like, instead of on the floor, it was up in the air, hovering and, like, floating around the mom that was, like, sitting in the, um, in the funeral room. It was literally, like, hovering all around her and, like, just literally going all around her and all on her. And it was like most likely like her kid that had passed away so that's kind of creepy but interesting because it was probably him because they were literally at his funeral and the balloon was you know all on all over the mom but i just want to throw that in there because it's kind of like similar to my video but yeah but yeah that's pretty much it for that story um if you guys liked it please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you want to hear more story times if i have any or if i can think of any i will definitely try to do them if that's what you know people are interested in thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video